What's going on guys, laser world and gals, excuse me, sorry. Uh, all the questions about the mirrors. Now I'm, I'm new to this. I'm very new to this. Um, very, very new. Um, so we've only been burning mirrors. We've only been burning for a few weeks. So yeah, at most. Anyway, we like the mirrors. Uh, so anyway, a lot of the questions I'm seeing over and over, and I've done quite a few successful mirrors. I figured I'd post what I'm doing. And yes, this is my workshop in the background. We got 3D printers, the laser, amateur radio stuff, all that. But anyway, so questions about mirrors. What mirrors? Well, I get these from Lowe's. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, that's what I get from Lowe's. They're a pack of six for, I think, like $12. Okay. Now, what you actually get... Look, you can see behind the scenes. There we go. There's y'all right there, right on top of the monitor. Anyway, what you're doing though is you're engraving the back. The back is, is a black matte coating of some sort, whatever makes the mirror a mirror. So you're burning this. So you will set this in your bed, you know, face down, reflective side down, and you will burn the back. Um, We'll uh, put this away so I don't, so I don't break it. Uh, Lord knows I don't need any more bad luck. And we will go over to uh, the rest of the stuff on the computer and show you how we do our setup for uh, for getting our image, for processing it in light burn. I don't do any extra processing with, with, with most images. Um, for the basics, we'll show you and go right through uh, light burn in my settings. And uh, I've actually got it burning right now. So I'm doing this part of the video after I've done the other part. So I'll put it all together and we'll see what happens. So stick around for just a few minutes. All right. So first thing you do is head over to whatever search engine you use. Say US flag waving image. Enter. All right. And images. Let's see, what's a good one here? Uh, I don't know. Let's take this one. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Take that one. All right. Save images. Flag. Waving. And let's put that on the desktop. Save. All right. Now we need to go to remove dot bg remove image from background all right upload image desktop there's the one we used <laughs> i didn't even realize i spelled it wrong whatever i've already done one there okay so we're going to download this and we're going to save the file and let's also put that on the desktop desktop and it'll have the remove bg preview there at the end all right so now let's open up light burn all right i've already made a a uh, tool path for the 12 inch mirrors so i'm going to open up a tool path for the mirror okay this just gives me an idea of where to where i'm going to put it all right now for the image you want to import don't open you want to import and we're going to go to desktop. And we're going to choose the uh, preview image. Double click there. Alright, All right, it's a 12 inch mirror, but I'm going to do 11.5. 11.5. Okay. And then, of course, they snap in. There we go. All right, so that looks all right. Now, any image you want to do, select it here, and we want to arrange, and we want to flip horizontally. Boom, like that. Okay, because remember, you're burning the back. Okay. And let's, uh, let's pick that one. And for mine, we burned 3,000. And 70 for power. And we 
you do not want the negative image on. I'll show you why. Actually, all right, so I turn negative image off. We'll click OK. If we click preview. Okay, everything in white is what's going to be burned, and that's what I want. All right, because it's going to be a red stripe. So I'll paint. I'll paint the stripes red, and I'll paint this all in here in between the stars. I'll paint that blue, and the black that's showing will actually be the mirror. If you run your slider and see what it, what the laser's doing. Okay, now now what would happen if we did have negative image on? Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, don't look too pretty. So, yeah, we don't want that. Make sure. Turn negative image off. Okay. And how long does that take at 3,000? That'll take two and a half hours. So, we'll get set up and uh, we'll start it burning. And then uh, we'll see what it comes out like. All right, one thing I wanted to show real quick um, while that's going here. Open up our cuts and layers. Okay. And if you notice, pass through is turned off. Okay. We need to run it off and we need to run threshold on this image. This image has got sharp distinctions between what's being burnt and what's not. We're not doing any dithering or anything like that. Okay. If, if we were to, to do, you know, like Stucky, you see how it's, it's all like this. We don't need that because it's, it's sharp cuts between where the laser burns and where it doesn't, okay? Now, if we were to turn pass-through on and just burn the image like it, you know, is imported, it still doesn't work out right, because take a look. You see all the lines that are in there? Those lines will come through, and they'll be in your finished image. So we can't do that. So here, turn pass-through off, run threshold, all right? And you can set your, your line interval to what's best for you. For doing simple images like like this that are that are hard cuts, it's not really overly critical on your DPI or line line interval. Um, you know, it's the higher you go, the longer it's going to take, and it's already going to take you know over two hours. So that's where we're at. We're at 3,000 speed, 70. Negative image is off. Pass through is off, and we're using threshold because we're just doing hard cuts on our lines. And that should give us that image right there. And again, we'll, we'll paint the stripes red. We'll paint the background of the stars blue. And for the red, white, and blue, the white is going to be your mirror. That's actually just going to be your mirror coming through, which I think looks pretty cool. So that's what we got. Still got a ways to go. We'll, uh, we'll come back when it's done. All right, well, in my grubby little hands, I am holding the finished product. Well, not quite finished. I haven't painted it yet. But anyway, here is the mirror. Okay, I didn't center it all that perfectly, but it's all right. You can see it. I'll try to actually, yeah. Ooh, there's me. You don't want to see me. And some fingerprints. So that's what it looks like there. And of course, the stripes. The red stripes are burned. That's the, the front side of the mirror. This is the back side of the mirror. I've already gone over it with a magic eraser. And you can see that's the side that it burned. So we'll get some paint on it and uh, we'll do the finished product to show you what it looks like. All right, it's painted. It's still a little tacky, but it's painted. So you saw what it looked like. Here you go. How's that? I think it come out pretty good. Back, it's covered over with just one quick coat of white after the red and the blue. That's the uh, that's the finished product. Kind of like it. I think it looks pretty good. Appreciate it.